guys, it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I was like, holding on to my hair. For this week's video, it is going to be my five favorite ab workouts. Um, I'm not like on any level of like Whitney Simmons or like Grace Fit UK, but I do enjoy working out. I do enjoy fitness and you guys always ask me about workout routines, exercises that I do and whatnot, so I thought maybe I would, you know, do this, kind of dip my toe in it, you know? Um, so if you guys really enjoy um, this like five favorites kind of thing, then I'll do it for like all the parts of the body, like five favorite like booty workouts, five favorite like back workouts, arms, arms. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get into the video. So, like I said before, if you guys like this video, like the style of the video, yada yada, um, then I will keep doing these every now and then, featuring like my favorite workouts. So yeah. So for this first ab workout, it is going to be crunches, but using a um, like exercise, like yoga ball, those blow up balls, whatever they're called. Also, I'm not very good at um, explaining things. So yeah, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I struggle just explaining things when I don't have like a word for them. Anyways, this is crunches using a like yoga ball. Um, and I really like this ab workout because by using the yoga ball, you get more of an extension. Like as you can see in the video, I'm extending all the way back and then coming up and crunching. Um, it just really engages all of your core muscles a lot more and you actually really feel that burn from crunching rather than just normal crunches where the motion is only going upward. Instead with this um, yoga ball crunch you're going backwards and extending upwards so it gets a lot more engagement in your core. Also I'm kind of congested right now so sorry if I just sound congested. Um, yeah. That's, that's happening. This next workout is Russian Twists. I love Russian Twists. This has always been one of my favorite ab workouts. I'm using an eight pound medicine ball in this video clip that is being shown right now most likely. And you could do Russian Twists one of two ways. I do it both ways in this clip. You can do it with your feet up, like hovering your feet. It's a bit more of a challenge. Or you could plant your feet down and just do the twists as so. But another thing to remember with this exercise is don't just rush through it. Make sure you really feel your core, engage your core as you are doing that twisting motion. The next exercise is oblique dips, or at least I'm going to call them oblique dips um, because they really engage your obliques, the muscles on the side of your abs. Um, so you can try to get rid of like that muffin top, you know, that kind of thing as you will see in the video. So I am just using, I think this is a 15 pound kettlebell. You could use a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell, just anything that'll add weight on um, because it does give a bit more of a challenge um, and so on and so forth. And so all you really do is you just, you just dip as you can see in the video. Um, just make sure you're not just using your shoulders, make sure you're really engaging your core in this because it can be easy just to kind of use your shoulder and just like dip your shoulder and kind of cheat, but really engage your core and focus. As you can probably tell by my face, I'm like focusing really hard, but I love this workout. It makes my obliques feel really good and it kind of makes them look good afterwards. So I really like this workout. So the fourth workout for my five favorites is glute bridges and this is a glute bridge with one leg up that's because it just engages your core a little more but this is also really good because it kind of tones in to your glutes as the name of the workout you know in first um and your legs as well but if you just use that mind to muscle you can really engage your core with it as well and that's what kind of kicking your leg up does for you it kind of has your core a little bit more engaged so just do a couple on both legs, um, and yeah, this is just one of my favorites because it just hits like multiple muscles, and you know, I'm always one for some for some glute workouts. I love my glutes. And this last workout, I don't really know what to call it. Don't I'm not sure if it has like an actual name, 
but I really love this workout. You guys will see what I mean in the video clip, but it is just when you sit on a bench and you just hold on to the sides and you kick your legs over, but you try to stay like stabilized so that you really feel that in your core. And this workout is amazing. I love it. It literally, as we were like filming the clip for it, I was like, <gasps> like, are we done yet? Cause it really just like knocks your abs out at the end of a workout and you can really feel it like working. Um, but yeah, so when you are kicking your legs over, you wanna kind of kick your legs out but, and if you want for more of a challenge, you can kick your legs out further. You can do the kicks a little slower. Um, that'll give you more of a challenge. I think that's it. So that is it for this video. Those were my five favorite ab workouts. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you wanna see more of these, like if you want this to kind of be a little fitness series on my channel, like my five favorite whatever workouts and so on and so forth. Um, I definitely appreciate your guys' feedback, so make sure to leave some if you like it. Thank you guys for watching. I put new videos up every Wednesday. Subscribe and like, and um, I'll see you guys I'll see you guys next week. I don't know why that was so slow and uncomfortable. I apologize. I need to shower though because I just did all those workouts and then I just sat right down to film this, so I smell. Okay, I love you. Bye, guys. <laughs>